All right, guys, welcome in. This is Communications 101. My name is Chase Southern, and this is my persuasive speech. All right, so imagine walking into a thrift store one day, and the first thing that you eye is $1,000. What a better way to walk in with a grand in your hand. But what if I told you every time you walk in a thrift store, that money is in plain sight? So today, I want to show you how to stretch your extra dollars investing into the art of reselling clothing. Before we get started, the process takes time, takes effort, it takes some spare cash, and a little bit of elbow grease, but we can all make it happen if we follow these steps. All right. So, statistics before we get started, in general. Everybody in America needs a hustle. I mean, median incomes are very low. Everybody needs two jobs to kind of make it through. But ArcGIS is actually a data analysis firm, and they stated that the average house size is 2.6 people. So the 0.6 maybe like a dog or like a small human, baby, whatever you want to call it. They can't work yet, but CensusGov stated in 2018 that the median income for household is $61,937. Split by that 2.6, you're looking at average of $23,821. 12 months in a year, you split that again, you get $1,985 a month. For people with families, anybody that has to pay cars off, phone bills, mortgage, that's not really a lot of money, and there's no add-ons, you're not making any money yet. So to get you started, the power plays of investing in the thrift store. The independence of buying and selling clothes is grand. First off, you're your own boss. There's no hours, wages, However hard you work depends on how much you'll make. So, this all came about in a Las Vegas Review Journal article in 2018 talking about the rise of thrifting. So they followed a couple people and savers and they went to a spot called Fruition which has been a boutique since 2008 that's actually curated bins for people once a month to come in and dig in. So one of the kids talked about, I never thought I'd be able to find a shirt for $30 and resell it for $300, just for examples on what you can buy and resell. So the thrift has average pricing though, so whether it's Savers or Goodwill, any piece that you go in is color tagged and it has a set price, so you'll never pay the full price of any item you see. So basically, shoes, 10 bucks, shirts, five bucks, sweaters, seven bucks, the thrift store is your oyster. And then every day they restock the store, guys. So hundreds of items come onto the floor. You'll never run out of things to find or look for. There's always something for that niche that you're looking for. But another statistic, according to the EPA, 9% of all waste in landfills comes from textiles. So when taking that out, it came out to an average of 81 pounds of clothing every household throws away. Whether you throw away clothing or not, one benefit of thrifting and reselling is you're actually taking secondhand items from the store. So you're not buying anything or throwing it away, you're actually helping the world by buying secondhand. And then timing for making this money is a general idea of what to look for. So whatever you wanna look for and sell, take your time to go into those certain areas. Say one day you're looking for shirts. Every store you go through, Go through the youth shirts, you go through the men's shirts, and the girls' shirts. But average time should be 25 to 45 minutes, and that was a Google statistic I actually did this morning by looking up every thrift store I go to and what times are the best and have the most people in there and how long these people spend their time in these stores. But posting, okay, so Gen Z and Millennials, 16 to 24, are the best with smartphones, we're the tech age, we know what to look for, but there's been a surge on all these platform apps. Peer-to-peer -peer selling, instead of buying from a store now, everybody buys electronically. It's a lot safer through PayPal, they hold your money, people are scandalous, so having that little median and middleman makes things a lot safer online to buy, but also Mercari, Depop, and Grailed are the new outlets to sell all your gold. So your niche, so your boho, your streetwear, and your vintage is what you're gonna be selling. But you can sell it on any of those platforms. But uh, TechCrunch is an online electronic article page. They released an article on Depop and their estimated income for 2018 was $40 million. For a single app that started in 2013, that's very good. And they actually 
released a, a statement that said the boom from 2019 to 2014 should go from 24 billion to 51 billion dollars in reselling. So why not take a part of this? Alrighty, and then in conclusion, the median's exponential growth in the app surges. The time is now to get into these stores and start buying with your secondhand cash. Take a day off, any day off that you have. If you work 40 hours, take that day off. Go with your family, go through what you can look through. Pick what you like, pick your favorite brands. Be a little bit easier, but start off with the brands that you see on the apps that sell the most. And dressing great comes at a hefty price and I could show you a way to pay less and make more. And you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So let's take a drink together, guys. Thank you. Where was I?